show you guys the layout quickly here. I sprayed it here um, on the plastic to get it there. Remember each line you see over here or spot you see. Um, you must remember there's a track like this uh, I need to make up. It's going to run across and they're all going to join up onto that one point over here. Right over here and uh, you'll build up your walls there. Here it's not going to be a wall over here but it's required to have this one going across and join up with that it's just to make everything more steady and it's also short metal rods like this going inside the walls as well and by the doorways so yeah bedroom front doorway give it a little space so when you open a door is here security gate there the guy will not stand right in front of you living room dining room Check my spots there, so you give you an indication where the line goes. Bathroom. Future doorway to another bedroom. A linen cupboard over here. A scullery here. This side of the kitchen. Open plan kitchen. A lovely pantry, nice size. A lot of space for shelves, very nice size. Breakfast nook in this corner here because there's a wall coming here. Breakfast nook there. And see what I mean. Do I stand here? That's the beginning of your um, kitchen. This is going to be in front of it. And your little area here for your table or your kitchen granite piece there or whatever you want to call it look as look at this view all open plan a lot of space all along and that's what you want not cramped up house time to make up um, these tracks again for the inside of the walls on the, um, under the slab took me a little while uh, if you haven't done it for a while get used to it this is 9.1 meters long tighten them up already track is ready to be moved to the spot Guys, it took a little bit of time. It's not easy to pick up that long 9.1 meter bars. Remember, it's going to sit over here on that. I'll bend those two ends flat. And it's in the middle. That's where the wall's going to go. All along. I'm still going and then I've got a small little piece I see from here to there but remember when you joined you're on the ends here you have to have an overlap of that number four bar that fat one over there that's 12.7 um, uh, millimeter round bar must overlap 30 centimeters uh, it's nearly one foot something like that I'm not good in the uh, foot issues in our country we're learning about centimeters and meters um, so yeah that will lap over there and it goes right onto this point here where another piece will come now from there a shorter one to here and here's a much longer one 
will come now from that end over there to here. I'll just make that mark there. And just to give me indication later when the slab is poured, uh, keep in mind that that's where is my line for my wall running in that direction. surprised me and uh, she said to me that that's the reason why we're actually going to the, uh, the price mod and buy this machine for your birthday because today is my birthday so yeah I am very happy I had a Vasco Vaughan in South Africa so this is a 2 22 horsepower if I'm correct we can Strassen one of the best um, motors for me i never had any issues with them before so that's my opinion this is a 46 inch and there was a discount six seven hundred dollars on this particular one price was two thousand dollars before so yeah got it for a good good price here I'm going I'm not going to talk much um, I'm going to put that in my mouth the wire but for now I'm just going to show you guys again I'll make it a little C and I bend it around I lift this up so this ball sits in the middle of my C and then I tie it up now you can weld it as well guys you'll see that I I put this up I started welded over here over here and I put a bar across and weld that on there I put up this long one over here I hope you guys can see it here going along and the other one over here as well going up here going down and then I put in both sides two little um, to support this piece at the moment because when you pour concrete you just leave it a little while in and you can take it off and uh, that is just a support it's not there forever I mean that's logical um, yeah so supporting it from here and from this one over here across to this one both directions to make sure this stands nice and straight up and then I put a little piece in there not required but I am because um, it's been left out there's a wall, small piece of wall coming between those two um, columns if I can put it like that or a track like this in that track up to here and this will open there'll be a little open area here all along to there there's just a little wall going there to there and there's the rest is all open I'm going to show you what I'm going to do today um, with the electricals the power is meant to come from the top into the roof and then down into the wall into your uh, power box we call it South Africans call it a DB box um, 
they have changed it um, they want it now underneath the slab uh, so I'm making the changes. Lucky I didn't need to cut a big grit because I don't like cutting um, grit, uh, metal grit that goes underneath the foundation. Uh, I like it to keep it solid as possible and the overlapping and all that. That's to do the job properly. So I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm talking about. I've opened it up already. Like I said, I open up the grit and I move the plastic. So I just need to take the handsaw. A lot of angle grinder, but I'm just going to take the hand saw and just cut open these four little peach pieces here across and I'll fold this little piece back up and then what I'll do is I will um, put it back and put another new piece over it and tie it up with a piece of wire so it stays one unit. So here they're using a grey colour to indicate that that's electrical. This is two inches pipe. Uh, just under a 51 millimeter pipe across over there from there to there so um, it'll have to go in here um, I'm just going to remove the stone you can see my red line what I spray already um, goes across and then um, after I close up everything I need to cut that open to let the pipe stick out over there like this drain pipe over there, the water, exactly the same thing because it'll have to go underneath the ground and then we'll take uh, this grit over here, I just fold it over it goes back over across to that end because that's where the wall goes because that power box is sitting a meter high into the into the wall so you'll see that again, what I'll show you when I'm done so that's what I'm doing today Okay guys, I just need to drill a little bit more in there, didn't take too long, it's not too bad, and chip a little bit more. I'm done, um, I already cut the part, that's all you need. A little bit closer look so that's how my pipe comes out um, I've got another piece there I'm gonna just leave it on top the guy said inspector said a meter up so I'm not gonna cut it short until I'm 100% sure where it must go and then I'll just cut it so I managed I put all the plastic back the grit again I cut another little piece because I cut this here I'm gonna put this over here I tie it down um, so it stays together as a unit. Okay, guys, you'll see I already tie down the, the legs. Show you guys there, that, and the legs of here going across where this um, track will sit on and rest on here. I just made one there on both ends. I'll tie another one on each side and then. Um, I'm just gonna bring it up like you open up a ladder and then I got those um, you see these two straight bars on both sides over there this one going there there's another one here I'm gonna use a support beam to keep it up like I've done over here you see one runs across from here that way keep it tight and one just down here I have to bend 19 bars, it can't be too long. Um, at the moment, to this over one meter is because when you build, you have to take the blocks and move it over inside because this bar has to sit uh, or rod must sit inside the block. So it has to be short, and then uh, as you build up your next four lines going up with your block. 
then you can extend the line because then it's easy to work otherwise the, the guy who builds have to climb up right on the ladder the whole day up and down until he reaches a certain height I'm gonna cut quickly my 19 pieces um, make sure you've got glasses on gloves on otherwise you're getting purple fingers when you're eating a of a hammer and cutting fingers to the bone but I haven't got time for the stitches so fix it at home no pain no game they say my brother Hey guys, just want to show you guys I have welded this way, not the other way I wanted to put this one on top and I welded in the side like that just to touch on two points and then I'll touch it on both ends on my track where I'll show you guys I'm gonna show you how to um, weld these um, thin bars like this one next to you like this one here what goes up into the walls I'm doing the last three of the interior walls I'm gonna weld them on now and then it's not an issue if it's skewed because you can also bend it straight and I haven't straightened out the, the grit in the bottom not a grit the railroad track I call it uh, they still need to be tied down and leveled out Okay guys, now you'll see what I mean about how much uh, work is it to be get done in the inside. If you have a lot of walls, you're going to put a lot of um, railroad tracks, I call it, like I always will say. Uh, this, this tracks down, like that. I spend another two hours and do the balance, tying down all the grits. So the grits are one piece so when you lift it up the bottom grit and the top grit sits together they don't move away and the stone can't get between it, the concrete so there's one solid piece and also I tie down the bar that comes out of the foundation it joins the grit that's also all tied down there's another one the all over all over where they need to join the grits comes together by one overlapping you'll see them my little joints are all there my wire to keep it all in tech together and then I've welded these bars up I made them earlier that goes in between the wall all of them wherever there's a wall every meter there will be one and the end of the doorway now that's what I meant earlier here's your block here's the bar that bar coming out of the or out of the foundation in the um, the side walls outside walls and your inside walls will come also like because it's a floating slab it's coming basically out of the foundation as well and I weld it on that and that's where it will sit I had to paste it out to make very sure that that bar I put there every meter sits correctly. Some of them I had to shift a little bit over to make sure that block will go in that position. I'm also going to cut the grass for the first time with my new rod on. The present I got from my wife. 
surprise present because I spent a lot of hours cutting this grass here with a brush cutter.